welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share one of my favorite products, but I'm doing something a little different or um, something that people ask me about all the time and I can't really tell you uh, because I don't know. And so uh, today I'm going to uh, share some what I bought and hopefully be able to answer a few more questions. I did not buy them all because there are so many. <laughs> But I bought some that I thought would really resonate with me and what scents I love. And so today I am sharing the Wise Owl Furniture Salve that I have talked about. And it says Furniture Salve, but you can use this on so many things. One of my favorite places to use this is inside my car, on my dash, on my like steering wheel, on, you can do it on like leather, you can, this stuff is amazing for a lot of different uses. So it's kind of one of those household products. I mean, yes, I use it on a ton of my furniture pieces, but it's one of those products that I will always, always, always have on hand. Um, just recently, my car needs to be washed inside and out. And I said, I'm at, out of the salve. So I was waiting for this shipment to come in so that I could, so that I could do it. It was kind of an excuse to put it off. But so one thing I always get asked is when I share this, people always say, what scent do I get? What scent should I get? So my recommendation always is get what scents you like, like in a candle or in a lotion or in like a hand soap. Um, for me, I really like a clean scent, kind of a more masculine scent. I am not somebody that likes food scents. So like pumpkin or cinnamon or apple or Anything like that, I don't love. Lemon is always good. That's just like a good clean scent, but anything like that or really flowery, like um, not sweet, but do you know what I mean by flowery? Like really, those are not my scents at all. Like rose or anything like that. Like that is not my wheelhouse. That's not what I love. That's not like kind of the candles I buy or like lotion or anything like that. It would never be in those scents. So that's kind of what I tell people to go with with the salve. The scents are what, um, I love the way it, it, it works. It's, it's amazing stuff. And I will show you here. Um, I've got a couple of things that I recently found that I'm going to show you how to, it works. But the scent alone will keep me coming back. When I first, um, I've shared this before, but when I first got my first shipment in, I opened this, this is my favorite, the tobacco flower. And I opened it just to try it for the first time. I opened the can and I immediately emailed the company and I said, when can I get this in a candle? When can I get this in a body lotion? Like I wanted all the things. So they do have candles and things as well. So tobacco flower is my favorite, um, but I wanted to get some other scents. I always say, go with what you like. Uh, but I know sometimes when you're buying something, you just, you wanna make sure that you, you know, you know, get what you like. And so I bought one, two, five other scents that I have never tried, uh, but they kind of sounded like what I would like. And on there, I will leave a link to these in the description of this video. Uh, they do have a description of the scents, but sometimes even for me, that's hard to, um, I'm like, okay, that sounds good. And that's what I went by when I picked these out. Um, but there is a description for each scent. So this one is called Bourbon Vanilla. Okay, so like usually vanilla, I'm like, no, but the bourbon is what caught me. And this, <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells really good. It smells like a clean, you can smell a little bit of the vanilla, but it's not like straight vanilla. If you like a clean scent, kind of like what I was describing for me, you I think you would like this one as well. The next one I got, oh no, I'm not even gonna be able to say this one. Hang on a second. I wanted to open, I just got these, so I definitely wanted to um, open these with you guys. I don't even wanna say this. It's Voluminescent Bay. I don't even know. We're not even gonna try to. 
Oh my gosh. So this one, this one kind of smells, where this kind of smells more, let me just put them together. This is more subtle and maybe a little bit more warm, like a scent, but this, this smells more like a men's cologne to me. Very good. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I really, I, and I, when I made the order, I was telling um, Wiza, I was like, that tobacco flower, I didn't even open that one. I said, it's got, a, it's just got a hold on me. <laughs> uh, but, um, so let me, yeah, no, this is, it's just so good. To me, it just reminds me of, like, like a cologne, it's not as, it's not as, um, strong as this. This is like a, whoa, like it's a, I mean, it's a good smell. It's not as strong. That tobacco flower. Okay. I think I could do this all day long. Like I, I want to get all of them. This one is called Midsummer Rain. So <laughs> this one smells so good to you guys. This is another clean scent. Um, so when I was looking on the uh, descriptions of these, um, you know, anything that said like cedar wood, sandalwood, anything like that, that is kind of like the scents that I love. And so that's what I went with. Um, oh my gosh, that Midsummer Rain is good too. It reminds me when, when I'm opening these, it, they do remind me of candles. Like when you go to Bath and Body Works or... Um, you know, buying any candles. And the thing is, so people will ask me, um, you can see this table. Do I have to keep applying it? So I love using this stuff inside drawers of furniture pieces that I do. This stuff will get rid of smells inside of furniture pieces. Put this stuff on. You may need to do a couple coats depending on the smell inside the pieces. It works. Um, so people will ask, do I have to keep applying it? No, I found this table right here. It's like an, I've shared it before here um, on this channel. It is an old like library table. I found it inside somebody's garage and it was just holding stuff. It was, you know, dusty and dirty. And I came home and I did not want to paint it or anything, but I cleaned it off really well. And all I did was I added this salve. salve. You can find that video here on my YouTube channel and you will see just like this, but this table was like, as soon as I started applying it, it was like a totally different table. I have not, that has been, I'm going to say at least three years from now, um, at least three years ago um, from when I did that, I have not re reapplied it um, here to this table. Um, the furniture pieces that I have done, used it on, um, wood pieces that I've done it on, I have not had to do it again. So. It just enriches the wood. It sinks into like old wood that just needs, a, it just needs a little more life, right? It's just really dry. It's so good for that. But again, you can use it in your car on leather. Um, I use it on metal. Again, I have a video for that um, here on my channel. Um, it does the same thing to metal. It just makes it just come alive. It's, it's, it's amazing stuff. Okay, this one is called Foxtrot. Okay, this, it does smell like a clean scent, but there's something in there that, um, yeah, it doesn't say it on here. It's got a clean scent. I don't know why to me, but some, a little bit, like it reminds me of a Christmas scent too. So this was out of all of them so far, that would be my least favorite, but not bad. Not bad at all. I would put any of these scents in my house. Like I would light a candle with this scent. I would put lotion on with these scents. I would, um, <clears throat> like hand soap, I would do that too. Okay, and then the last one I got was Walk in the Woods. And this one I can barely smell. What I can smell... It does smell clean and good, but it's a real light, faint smell. So for me, 
scents are just, scents play a big part in a lot of things <laughs> for me. Like I want our house to smell a certain way or I like, you know, um, I love, I do love essential oils and that's what I wear every day. I just, scents do something to me. So like for this one, um, it does have a scent, but it's very faint. Yeah, it's really hard to, but all of these. So, and like I said, I just went by the descriptions on their, their, um, their site for these. And that's how I picked them out to go with the kind of scents that I, that I love. So I am going to show you how this works. Another thing, let me just share this too. Does this say? Yes. So these little, you can see the difference between, this is the four ounce and then this is the eight ounce. This four ounce will last you a long time. This is something that's not gonna be used up, um, you know, really fast. I do do a lot of furniture pro or furniture projects as I share here. And so I do have a lot of wood that I use this on. I am uh, doing a huge wardrobe and I wanna do the whole inside with the salve. That's all I wanna do. It's just got old wood in there and I just wanna, it's just gonna come alive with the salve. So you don't need a lot. I think one of these, this wardrobe is massive. I would have enough to do that whole inside of that wardrobe and I would still probably have some left for sure. So um, you don't need to buy the biggest can. If you want to just try them out, go with the four ounce. It'll get you a long, long way. Um, so, so that's another question I get. Which size should I get? So, so what I'm going to show you is how I apply it. So they also have these round brushes on Wise Owl that you can find. And that's how I apply it. I got this round brush from them. And this round brush stays in this Ziploc bag. And this is only my sab brush. I don't use it for anything else. So once I get it cleaned off, which I'll show you here in the end, I put it back in this bag, uh, Ziploc it up, and then it's ready to go for my next time. So I just took it out of the bag and it's, it's ready to go. So I got one of these. Why can I not remember? I want to call it like a pouncer, but that's not... Um, I got one of these and if you have seen my, I think I did a short, um, I know there's a video somewhere on it, but what I love about these when I can find them is I cut these off just with a table saw so they are flat and then if you stand them up, they look like Christmas trees and again, I love the old wood. You can get them in different sizes, different heights, like they're just amazing and so um I don't have that many of them. I've been, I, I was selling them on my shop page and then I'm like, wait a minute. I started doing this. So now whenever I can find them inexpensive, I pick them up because I just want to have a collection of them, um, like on a mantle or something for Christmas. I just, I just like the look of them. So I just got this and I'm going to, it's just kind of old wood and I'm just going to revive it a little bit with um, let's try some, the, one of the new ones. Let's try the bourbon vanilla. And they have unscented as well. So it's not, the scent is just kind of an added, um, just an added fun thing. You do not have to get them scented at all. They do have unscented. Another question I get asked all the time is, you know, if you put this in your dresser, like, is it going to smell like that forever? No, the scent doesn't last forever. I love to use it in my car. Uh, after I have cleaned everything, then I rub the salve over the dash and, and other areas. And then it's kind of like an air freshener in your car, but it doesn't last forever. I wish it did, <laughs> but it does not last forever. So, um, and if you're putting it in drawers, like I would not put your clothes in there for a couple of days. Just make sure it gets soaked in. Wipe off any excess if you have that, especially if you're using it on metal. I'm always wiping off the excess but something like this box and this, I will apply it and then I will let them sit here for a couple hours overnight, maybe for a day, depending on what it is. And um, then I will wipe them off uh, if there's anything, you know, excess on it. Uh, but as far as your dresser, just, you know, it'll take a couple days just to be safe. Um, but then the scent doesn't live forever and, and, and then it's fine to put your clothes in there. But so all I do, I mean, literally, I didn't even, you can see, 
There's not an indent. It's, you don't need much. How am I gonna do this so you guys can see? Can I move this down just a little bit so then I can kind of hold it here? So. I'm just gonna kind of do one side here just so you can kind of see. Oh! <laughs> it will never cease to amaze me. It's kind of like paint when I'm painting like a piece of furniture. It'll never cease to amaze me what paint can do, right? But um, so you can see it on this side and look over here. This just, do you see what I mean? It's just kind of dull. You know, it's old wood. It looks amazing. But when you add this, it just takes it up a notch. It just makes it look, to me, it makes it look like more authentic, more vintage, more antique. This is like sad. <laughs> It's like, uh, it's old, like it's dingy. It's, you know, like it's great. But then this, it's like a totally different thing, right? It just gives you that totally different vibe, especially if you're somebody like me and you love, um, let me move this down just a little bit more. You love antiques or you love vintage pieces. Look at that. I don't know if you could really tell, but I just love this stuff. I always get excited to share, okay, maybe if I do it this way, you guys will be able to tell, um, products when I find them that just oh, make projects easier or make projects look better or just make your decor look better or ways to enhance things like this. It's just, that looks like a totally different piece. Now I'm just gonna stand it like this and I'm gonna do the handle, same thing. I am barely putting any on this at all. So like I said, one, the four ounce will last you a long time. Let me get it down here. There we go, this is done. So now I will just let it sit right over there and I, I, I will forget about it. I'll get on my computer, I'll get some more work done. And then I probably won't even wipe that off after a day or the afternoon. Or... Okay. I'm wondering if I set this under it, if you'll kind of see the contrast. If I start, I'm going to do this wood box. Okay, now that I'm... This is a real kind of subtle flavor. flavor. Oh my gosh, don't eat it a subtle scent as well. So you can see this wood box here. <laughs> can you tell the difference? It's like, I, I kind of explain it like, it's this old wood, it just needs a drink of water. <laughs> like it just needs some moisture to just look alive again. Um, it's dehydrated. It's old. It's, and this, yeah, I can tell I'm not going to have much to wipe off of this either. I'm just going to set this down like this, uh, because it's, it's going to soak all this up. It's going to take all of this. It almost adds that like character and look, you can see the difference there. It highlights the imperfections or the, on, on old woods like wood like this, the, the imperfections are what's really cool, right? Um, it might be a dent, um, a darker area, uh, whatever. Um, you can see there's some red paint on this that I kind of didn't notice before. Here's some, a green, some paint, but the, the sab just brings it out again. Let's just with the salve, with that out the salve. And it won't be as shiny. So you can see how shiny it is now. It doesn't stay shiny. It just kind of, you know what I mean? It just kind of blends in and then it's kind of wet now. It's all on the surface. It will soak into that wood. And you may find, I have not yet, you may find that you maybe have to do a couple of coats, you know, depending on how old the thing is or, um, if the wood's really, really 
it might need another coat or it's soaked in and then it still just kind of looks dry. But I have not had to do that before yet. So I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that could happen if you found, depending on the piece of wood you're using it on. <clears throat> Again. Oh, I just love this stuff. Okay. Yeah, it was outside. And like I said, I haven't used this on everything that they say you can use it on, but there are so many uses. Um, it's great for helping drawers slide better as well. You know, you can put it on the sides, depending on how the dresser or the piece of furniture, it's not necessarily just a dresser, whatever has a drawer. Depends on how the drawer is, but you could put it on the rungs of the drawer. Um, the sides of the drawer, if there's, there aren't any, um, some of the older pieces don't have that, but oops, I can do the inside too, but I'm not going to bore you with that here on this video, but this stuff is just, I, I, I gave it to family members over Christmas. Um, I just, I just love this stuff so much. So what I do when I'm done with the brush. So if you're all done with your projects is I just take this, this brush and then I just kind of in a circular motion, I'm going to try and rub as much excess off. This is your sab brush. So you're not going to get it all out and that's not the goal. I just want, you know, get the dirt if it, you know, picked up some dirt off of the old wood. Um, you just kind of rub it off. I kind of rub it, whoops, this way as well. And then if you take a clean piece of the cloth, I will sometimes just wipe off what I used just so that there's nothing on there that's going to harden it or I've never had any problem, but just do that. I close the salve. Don't want that to dry out. My brush goes back in. I close it and it's done. Get yourself just a four ounce can of this stuff. I am telling you, you can use it on so many things. Um, if you've got, you know, old metal or old wood decor pieces, like I love to pick these things up for our home. Um, it's great on that. Use it in your car. I want to say you can use it like in your kitchen for things. There's just so many uses. Get your hands on just a little jar. You don't need the bigger one. Look through the descriptions of the scents. I kind of helped you out here. If you like the clean scents, you could never go wrong with tobacco flower. That's the one I always tell people that it's my favorite when they ask. Um, and I know a lot of people have gotten that. Did I say flavor? I know a lot of people have gotten that scent and really like it. But they some of these are really, really, really good. This midsummer. Wow. This midsummer rain. I should have had my daughter, Gabrielle, come down and do this because she loves to. Yeah, this one. She loves to do this kind of stuff. That walk in the woods is good. Okay. And now I feel like I'm, they all smell the same as I'm doing this, but you'll love all the scents. They have lemon, they have unscented. They have so many more to choose from, but just try this stuff. Just get your hands on one little can. Um, and I know you'll love it. And if you do try it, let me know, come back here, share it in the comments. Let me know what scent you got, uh, what you love about it. Um, cause it's just helpful for everybody else that is trying to pick a scent, come in and, and just tell us what your favorite scent is, what it smells like, how you would describe it, just because it's helpful for other people. So I hope this was helpful. I'll leave a link to the, to the salve in the description. And until next time, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.